Hey there, welcome to Coding Stuff. Today we are going to learn how to play music in our app and we'll also learn how to use Seekbar. So we'll be using Seekbar as, pro, uh, as to catch the progress of our song. Okay, so let's get started. We have added three buttons to our design, start, pause and stop. So now we will add one Sigma. So it will show us progress of our song. We will also add one image. Okay, so now we'll change the color of our background to the black. Okay, now it's cool. And we'll change Sigbar's background. As... So now we will link our design with our Java file. We have three buttons. We have one Sigma. And okay. So, so I have initialized all the objects. So now we'll create one media player object and we'll initialize it. Media player dot create. And this create takes two parameters this context and one is uh, our song ID okay so we will just copy our song and we'll create here new Android resource directory and we'll be setting its resource resource type as a raw and just paste here your song Okay, and we'll pass it here r dot raw dot age 19. Okay, so now we'll set on click listener to our three buttons start, pause, and stop. Set on click listener new dot on click listener, and we'll just write here player dot start. Okay. Same with pause, set on click listener, new dot on click listener, and player dot pause. So now we'll run our app. Just okay. okay one thing uh, if we change this uh, seek bar so nothing is happening so we have to add some functionality to it stop button is also working so let's add functionality to our seek bar so for that we'll first set max to our sigbar sigbar dot set max we'll set here player dot get duration okay so max of this sigbar is a uh, duration of our song okay then we have to implement one class timer 
okay and we will schedule it schedule add fix rate and inside that new timer task interface okay and we will write here seek bar dot set progress as player dot get current position and we have to pass here parameters as a delay and our period okay so we will pass 0 and 900 period now we also have to do one thing seek bar dot set on seek bar change listener okay inside that new on seek bar dot change listener so we have three methods to implement so we will be implementing only one method on progress change so he will here we will write player dot seek to progress okay this progress parameter so let's run our app okay my emulator has some problem of ram that's why it's lagging so if you run on your own phone um, it will work properly okay so sorry for that lagging in my android emulator so this is it thank you for watching please make sure you subscribe the channel for upcoming android tutorials so thank you